Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this video, we'll be taking a brief look at an introduction to matter. We'll talk a little bit about what matter is and why it matters. See what I did there? So while I roll the intro for more terrible jokes like that, take a moment to subscribe and if you hit the bell icon, you'll also get notified when I release new videos each week. While you're at it, if you like what I do here and you want to support the channel, there's some affiliate links in the video description to a bunch of the home automation gadgets that I've reviewed in the past and other ways to support the channel like signing up for NordVPN using my affiliate link or supporting the channel directly through my Buy Me A Coffee link. With all of that out of the way, let's get started. So on the 4th of October, 2022, the Connectivity Standards Alliance released Matter 1.0 and they followed it up on November the 3rd with an official launch event. And this is super exciting for the smart home community. But you might be asking, why does Matter matter? Well, Matter is a standard communication protocol for the smart home that has been in development since December 2019. And it was originally called the Connected Home Over IP project or CHIP. And it's a standard that's been contributed to by over 230 companies in the smart home world, like Google, Apple, Amazon, Samsung, Ikea, and even Tuya. Now, instead of being a new way of connecting smart devices to your smart home, it's more like a standardized language or protocol for smart devices to talk to each other. As the original name suggests, Matter does work over IP networks. So either the thread wireless connectivity protocol or plain old Wi-Fi and or ethernet. The standard does also support Bluetooth, but only for the provisioning of a device and not for control. One of the key aims of Matter is to provide a universal IPv6 communication protocol for smart home devices to enable a truly cross-platform smart home and hopefully reduce the confusion about whether the new gadget you just picked up off the shelf is going to work with your existing smart home ecosystem. Theoretically, if you buy a Matter compliant device, you'll be able to connect it to Apple HomeKit, Google Home, Amazon Home, or Samsung SmartThings with minimal fuss. And new Matter compliant devices will no doubt feature a works with Matter or Matter compliant panel somewhere on the packaging making it easy to spot those compliant devices before you buy them and take them home. Some smart device providers have even announced firmware updates to existing devices to support Matter. And obviously during this initial transitionary period, those compatible after firmware update might be a little bit harder to spot on the shelf. Something that surprised me was that Tuya are part of the project and it'd be really interesting to see if a firmware update to existing to your devices will become available because that would then suddenly enable native local control without any hacky workarounds like local to you or flashing with Tasmoda. Of course, the developers over at Nabucasa, the makers of Home Assistant, have been busily working away on integrating Matter support into Home Assistant as well so that it's ready as soon as accessories are. And in fact, Paulus ran a workshop a few months back demonstrating pre-release Matter support in Home Assistant. And I ran through that workshop and I might even film a demonstration of how that all works. It's worth mentioning that Nabucasa actually happens to be a member of the Connectivity Standards Alliance and the Home Assistant Yellow, which has begun shipping, but unfortunately mine isn't going to be coming until the new year due to delays in the Power Over Ethernet version. That Home Assistant yellow thread radio will at some point get a firmware update to begin supporting Matter right from Home Assistant yellow. There's a lot of really cool stuff in the Matter 1.0 spec and it's really hard to choose my favorite, but one of the features of the spec that really sticks out in my mind is the concept of multi-admin. 
The basic idea of multi-admin is that you can have an accessory that's then connected to more than one smart home controller. And you can also choose which accessories are then shared with other ecosystems. Say for example, Home Assistant, Apple HomeKit, Google Home and Amazon Home, meaning that even if you're sharing a place with housemates, you could theoretically have smart accessories in common areas that are controllable by anyone and restrict access only to yourself for accessories that are in your personal spaces. Another feature of Matter that sticks out is that it is purely local control. As we've discussed multiple times in the past, controlling smart home gadgets that rely on a cloud connection is never a great experience. The introduced latency of cloud control and reduced reliability means that, at least for me, unless a gadget already has local control or I know for sure that it can be modified relatively easily to then use local control, I'm probably not going to spend my money on it. And while Matter is designed for local control, it doesn't preclude cloud control as well. So if a device comes with Matter certification, I'm going to know straight away that it's going to have local control and it's going to be compatible with any of the ecosystems I already run right out of the box, removing the need for any hardware hacks, firmware flashing or hacky software with limited functionality. Now, being that Matter is only in the 1.0 stage, it's still got a couple of limitations. Right now, it supports plugs and switches, light bulbs, door locks, thermostats and HVAC controllers, blinds and shades, contact sensors, motion sensors, smoke and carbon monoxide sensors, garage door controllers, wireless access points and bridges, televisions and streaming video players. Now, at the launch event at the start of November, the CSA did commit to a biannual release cycle and in future releases of the Matter spec, we can expect to see support for security cameras, smart speakers, robot vacuums, and even energy products like solar panels, EV chargers, and home scale batteries. With this biannual release cycle, we might even see support for some of those devices as soon as March in 2023. As for Matter enabled accessories, there's not anything on the market just yet, but the makers of Philips Hue have announced they'll be upgrading the Hue bridge to support Matter. Belkin, the makers of Wemo devices, have announced that they'll be releasing new smart plugs, smart switches, and smart dimmer switches with Matter support. And IKEA have announced the release of their Dirigera hub at some time in November. And so it won't be long before Matter is out in the wild and hopefully changing our smart homes for the better. According to the Connectivity Standards Alliance, more than 190 devices and sensors are currently working through the certification pipeline, and we can expect many more soon. Now, at the event, or shortly after it, a number of companies have also made some announcements about new products or even updates to their existing devices to support Matter. Nanoleaf have announced new matter compatible bulbs and light strips coming in early 2023. Amazon announced that they'll be updating 17 of their Echo devices to support matter. Acara announced an update to their Acara Hub M2 coming in December to support the matter standard with other Acara Hubs to follow in 2023. And at the launch itself, Eve, who have previously only made accessories exclusive for the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, announced that all 14 of their thread enabled products will be getting firmware updates over time. And the Eve Energy, Eve Motion, and Eve Door and Window devices will be getting a firmware update on December the 12th of this year. At the event, they even demonstrated controlling an Eve Energy smart plug using Amazon, Google, SmartThings, and HomeKit in succession. Now, as you can see, I recently picked up one of each of these devices to actually test out the Matter firmware update when it happens on the 12th of December. And I'll be sure to film full reviews of each of these products and hopefully integrating them into Home Assistant using Matter. One of the other core principles mentioned on the Matter website is security. And apparently Matter devices make use of blockchain technology, which is the technology behind cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, 
to verify that matter devices are legitimate and haven't been tampered with to then inject malicious code. And the standard also requires all communication between devices to be encrypted. That said, privacy protections from this highly secure setup are still going to boil down to the ecosystems that you're using to control those Matter accessories. With Matter only supporting Thread and Wi-Fi or Ethernet accessories, you might be wondering what's gonna happen to my existing Zigbee and Z-Wave accessories. Now, it's fair to say that these accessories won't necessarily support Matter natively, but some manufacturers will be producing Matter-enabled bridges. For example, Philips Hue accessories make use of the Zigbee protocol and as I mentioned before, the manufacturer has announced that they'll be upgrading the bridge to support Matter. And the IKEA Dirigera hub that I mentioned earlier seems like it's going to do the same thing for the Zigbee controlled IKEA trad free ecosystem. And the previously mentioned Akara hub M2 will also allow bridging your Matter ecosystem to the 40 or so Zigbee Akara devices that are out in the wild already. There may also be the potential for some devices to upgrade from Zigbee to Thread and therefore then connect into a Matter ecosystem, though as yet it's unclear how plausible that will be and it's going to depend heavily on the radio hardware that's in those devices anyway. Unfortunately, as of the time of filming, I've not found any announcements about Z-Wave to Matter bridges, though the Z-Wave Alliance do appear to be working on the problem and Silicon Labs have developed a software development kit for manufacturers to develop firmware for existing or new Z-Wave bridges. So that is a very quick overview on the new Matter smart home standard. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what your thoughts on Matter are. Personally, I think Matter will have a massive impact on competition in the smart home. With Matter compliance, devices will no longer be competing on ecosystem support or their connection type. The competitive features will need to be elsewhere, like their design, their build quality, their functionality, and possibly more importantly, their price point. Honestly, I'm super surprised that Tuya is on board with the standard, and I'll be really interested to see how the Tuya ecosystem evolves with Matter. With so many readily available Tuya devices on the market right now, and so many manufacturers making use of the Tuya platform for developing and releasing smart home hardware, Tuya are really well placed to be a market leader in the smart home. If a firmware update enables Matter control over existing Tuya devices, that is going to be a huge change to their existing business model, which relies on cloud connectivity. And if they're able to introduce matter over thread into the mix without introducing any major price hikes for the hardware, other manufacturers are definitely going to need to provide some really compelling features to stay in the game. I'm super optimistic about the future of the matter enabled smart home and very excited to see where this new standard takes us. There's a lot to get excited about with Matter. That's all we have for this video and I do hope that it helped you in your smart home journey. Be sure to comment down below with a home automation idea you'd like to see me cover in a future video and don't forget to follow Hivemind Automation on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like and if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing now. Why route it if you hit the bell icon, you'll get notified when I release new videos and that's normally every week. If you are currently in the market for a VPN provider, I've placed an affiliate link for NordVPN in the video description as well. And I chose to partner with NordVPN because they've got the best infrastructure of any VPN provider, a strict no logs policy and servers all over the planet. And on top of that, they've got apps for just about every platform around, whether it's mobile or desktop. So no matter what platform you're using, you can protect your sensitive personal information while you browse the web, even on unsecured Wi-Fi. So get a VPN today and use my link below to sign up for NordVPN. Lastly, if you like what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel directly, there's a buy me a coffee link in the video description down below. Any contributions that you make through Buy Me A Coffee are put towards making more 
and hopefully better content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.